Howdy, howdy, Zach Scott here with another... <coughs> I'm sorry, I can't pull that off. Hi, it's uh, Kinsey, and I want to show you a few things that I've been experimenting with for the past day or so. Like, so Source Filmmaker recently added the ability to scale models and scale bones, which is fantastic. It's something that's been screaming for, for quite a while now. But there's a few little quirks that people have been running into that... I don't want to brag, but I sort of guessed the causes pretty uh, instantly from playing around some other stuff in the past, so... I just wanted to share what I've learned and uh, give you guys a few tips that might avoid some uh, frustration in the future. So we've got four little dudes here. The Heavy is pretty much uh, just a vanilla model. The Soldier is uh, rigged. The standard biped simple. The scout here uses uh, Revzin's uh, assembly script, which is usually used for Dota models. I would have used a Dota model, but it was looking all weird for me. And the demo man here, we're going to use a different method. I'll talk about that later. So, to scale models and stuff, you go to utilities, you right click, utilities, add scale control to models. Now that's a little thing on the body. It lets you scale the entire model. Okay, so that's cool. But if you want to scale a specific bone, you right click it and you go add scale control to transforms, and that gives you gives you a similar uh, slider to scale that bone in particular, which is nice. You can now do all your DK mode shit. But the problem is with uh, IK rigs, this doesn't quite work out. Like. Uh, I'll just apply this to this rigged uh, soldier. Go down to a uh, rigged body. It's not there! But if we have to go uh, the cog and show hidden controls. If we go to this uh, root transform thing and scale it, things just explode. The trick here is that... Uh, um, there we go. <clears throat> the trick here is that uh, while we can't uh, scale the model uniformly while using IK rigs, we can scale the individual bones. So like, uh, if I go to the right upper arm and lower arm, add scale controls for those. Those will work just fine. But the... Uh, IK handles will act as if it wasn't scaled at all. Which can be useful if you're just trying to rescale things uh, after the fact, after you've done some animation, but it could probably be frustrating under certain circumstances. Just keep that in mind. Now over here we have our friend with the uh, assembly script. And if we... Uh, let's go control the models. If we scale him, his stuff isn't going to scale with him from the looks of things, which is a bit of a pain. What you have to do is uh, constraints, remove constraints, which actually undoes the assembly script basically. Oh, I forgot a step, sorry. You have to uh, select the parts, constraints, Bake constraints, which sort of bakes the anim what the animation you've done into those uh, animation sets. Then constraints, remove constraints, and they're basically normal animation sets again, but unattached to the model. Which could be what you want, but uh, odds are if you want to adjust things later, it's going to be a bit of a pain. So I'm going to try something a little different here. This is something that was added a while back. So we've got our demo here, now we click and drag him onto each uh, of his parts. So there's a little cross next, a uh, little uh, lock next to them. Then we go to procedural on each one, we select them all, and you slide the zero procedural to the right. And that's all good. It's all attached to him, all the bones are properly aligned, or as if we used the assembly script. But if we uh, add the scale control to all the models, 
we go to the demo and we use the root scale, then all the models are scaling properly because they're using this, because the uh, body parts are scaled up, uh, are locked to the demo man scale uh, slider. The problem with that is that this can cause certain uh, problems like uh, the cape bones here don't know what the hell because uh, they're not linked. And basically they you need to sort of uh, hang on, utilities fake procedural bones would that do much of anything? Anyway, you really have to experiment a bit. This is just my first uh, look into things. And I sort of hope that uh, at least this answers a couple of questions and uh, helps you out with some stuff. Okay, um, hopefully this helps. Catch!